Welcome to Let's Play Discuss, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. This is Ron Moore, along with the J-Man, Green, and the Wii Guy. Yo! And so now I am getting ready, getting ready for the final battle, and i got to pay 100 rupees for this big bomb. Not like it matters because you maxed out your wallet? Yeah, really. Yeah, you'd be rolling in rupees. Yeah, and... I haven't got the silver arrows yet. And you fucked and, up. Ah, dang it. Really? Yup, you can't jump. so stupid. Bomb. You can't jump. He's supposed to follow you. What, I, what, a bomb can't follow somebody? So, nope. you have to buy it again? Yep, you yes. have to buy it again. Yeah. That's so messed up. That's how they get you. Yeah. Alright, so you can't jump up or anything. <laughs> so, you gotta be careful. At least the timer isn't going down as you're walking. Yeah, they'd be messed up. So Make I haven't money. got the, they have not gotten these sil silver arrows yet. So uh, the silver bullet, Bud Light, or whatever beard that was back then, that was called the silver bullet. Isn't that what Came you used to kill like a that. werewolf or something? Yeah, that's that's another thing. So Gan's really a vampire, right? Kill him with a silver bullet? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Vampires are only allergic to silver. I thought they're allergic to onions or um garlic. I think both. It's a it's a nightmare on Hyrule Street. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It sure Pretty is. Ca Castle Zelda. I ah, fail. Zeldavania. There oh, we go. Um, you redeemed yourself. Mysterious yes, Pond. Won't you throw something in? Well, yes, that's why I'm here. No, I'm gonna throw. I'll take a swim. Hammer. Yeah, and. <laughs> Okay, Whoa. Ganon's sister now makes an appearance. And actually right here, this is what you found out that uh, the Dark World or Ganon's power is what, uh, Disfigure the Fairy? Mm -hmm. Or Fairy, however they spelt it. Yeah, fa Fairy, I want this type, nice. or maybe that's another way to spell Fairy, I don't know, anyway. Google. And the Silver Arrows! Alright, now it's time to face the Ganon. I never knew that. It took me forever to beat this game because I never knew you had to do that and get silver arrows. There yeah. is a way to beat him without um, the silver arrows. It just takes... Exploits. Really? Yeah, it's an exploit, but it takes so much longer. Like, I'd say about a few seconds longer because you have to keep hitting with the sword at a certain time. And because you're not using the silver arrows, he doesn't die as fast. You have to use the golden gun. The golden gun with a silver bullet? No, um... Core's Light! <laughs> yeah, there you go. Dark World. And now we are getting ready to face Ganon in the final battle as the top right hand corner of the screen has to remind us what floor we're on. And I love, I had to listen to Ganon's theme here for a second while I was recording this. I, I love Gan Ganon's theme. It's a, a, an ECW theme. Yeah, should we call it the ECW theme? And this is the first part of the, part of the battle. It's pretty easy. Yeah, it's not too terrible. I was hilarious as fighting him without that armor and watching how much damage you take when you touch him. Yeah, really. And now this is the second part of the battle, or well, first part of the second part of the first part, whatever. Second phase. Yeah. As the fiery keys to try to hit you. Oh wait, this ain't Ocarina of Time. It's like Dracula though, sending his bats at you. Well, the fire bats, but yeah, still. I think that happened in Super Castlevania 4. I think that happened in most Castlevanias. Well, shut up. They're on the same system and they're super. Okay, well, Castlevania's super, but still. Oh, well, get it right, you idiots. <laughs> uh, get back to playing this game. <laughs> I already played this game. I beat it twice. I wasn't talking to you. Oh, what do you say, J man? <laughs> Wait, did we just go forward? I say it rolls. Yeah, I just went forward. Uh, cut to the next part of the battle because that one part is getting repetitive. You were doing the exploit, weren't you? <laughs> the exploit. What? The exploit. Oh, the green was no, talking about. Take it forever. Ah, oh, dang it! Oh, pwned. Oh, but wait a minute. He's got a fair airy. He's coming back with a fairy ECW, ECW. 
Come on, hurry up and kill him before all the tiles go away. You couldn't do that in ECW. No fairies are gonna be around save you in ECW. Come on, you have a chance. No, never mind. You're not getting it. Oh, oh yeah. These are the tiles of fate in the S game. All right, now this is when it gets real. I thought it was that wasn't real to begin with. It's all <laughs> fancy, man. Come on. Doo-doo. <laughs> Ronnie doo -doo. wasn't fast enough. Doo, doo just got real. Oh. oh. Doo, doo just got real? What? <laughs> oh, come on. Know. See, if I had the no, gold arrow, I would've beat him already. Now, see, yeah, if you were fast enough, you could have killed him before he started making the candles go out. Well, your face is not fast enough. Hey, I've done it before. I'm like you! Hold <laughs> <laughs> up. And, oh, there we go. Don't miss. Don't die either. Your face is a miss. That too. Got him. Oh, oh, got him. Come on. There we go. Oh, wait, All right, that's more. the end of Zelda, and God bless you. Take care. Oh, wait. No. Okay, okay goodbye. Oh, damn it. I closed the video. <laughs> Dang it. I don't think they were supposed to know it was a video. <laughs> And now we are in the room of the Triforce, and we are speaking with the essence of the Triforce. And why the hell Ganon didn't just go in this room is beyond me? I don't know, but uh, Park is the essence of the Triforce. Totem, no? I don't know. Yeah, it could have been. Or Ganon no. needed no. all the time to build that bridge. I think uh, Lens of Truth said he loves this song right here, the Triforce theme after you beat... Uh, Ganon, Ganondorf or Ganon, whatever he's called. I think now that I think about it, I believe the pig form is Ganon and the uh, man form is Ganondorf. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Right. I would say that. Yeah. I and the uh, and the I other form is uh. No. The other form is spoiler. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> The other form Agnim. is... Agnim. Yeah, Agonim, or whatever his name Agnim. is. Agnim, yeah. <laughs> the whole time. Gehurahim. <laughs> algorithm. Zant. No. Uh, Boo, algorithm. Algorithm. Al Gore. Algebra. Al Gore? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Alright, and yeah, I love, I love this music right here, too. In this beautiful room with see-through green curtains. See-through Gunstar Hero 21 curtains. And... Mm, uh, joke. Yeah. And the mode 7 of the Triforce pieces. Yeah. Because it was mandatory back then for everything to have mode 7. Yeah. I like how the text disappears like slowly. As, as opposed to the rest of the game. Well, who cares about that? Anyway, <laughs> here's where Link touch the, touches the Triforce and makes his wish come true. For peace and how, how, he rule, I rule. I wish for a million dollars. <laughs> or rupees. <whatever>. Why? <laughs> Why, when he can just cut the grass and just make that money? All right, let's get down to brass tacks here. Uh, I wish for a sword to automatically cut grass for me. There. Best exactly. wish ever. As King Santa Claus takes his throne again, and... King Claus? I think there's church. a clause in that. Yeah. The loyal <laughs> sage didn't get his ass handed to him. Yeah, I thought he died. No, he just got his ass kicked. He didn't actually die. But he disappeared. Yeah. That's just, just the game. Respond. They didn't want to leave the body there. And yeah, Sahasrila returns to Kakariko Town. When I heard, I think I, I've heard it's actually called Kakariko, not Kakariko. It's Crackhead Village. I had a fanboy uh, <laughs> the next week. You idiot, it's Kakariko. You stupid idiot, get it right. No. It's uh, Chris oh. Jericho Village. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> if you just saw Venom 22 trying to break into that treasure chest in the desert, um... And oh, there's Bear and Wigon. <laughs> mm, I'm the, am I the one chasing Bear? No, you're, you're the, no. no, no, I'm the one being chased. I would be Bear. He's like, hey, hey, get over here. And I'm like, no, Bear, you're weird. Well, wait, hey, you're you're the bottom half. <laughs> <laughs> now I thought the oh, see, I thought people were dead in this game. You're all bottom. <laughs> oh, so oh well. Uh, hey, no I'll one chase him with a That was bear. <laughs> the witch is now 
not he's not a merman. He's a got time to get a merbear. Get, uh, magic powder. Yeah, that was that was funny. Just like, why don't you have the magic powder, Ronnie? And then the witch went to go in the shop go. and get it. Yeah. He's a lumberjack ass, ass brothers. Yeah. Uh, lumberjacks. That's hate Piper that. and uh, we got. You already used me. Come on. <laughs> Use you again. Flute Boy. He's like Piper Goldsboro, I don't know. <laughs> Flute Boy, I guess that's, uh, I don't know, Men's of Truth? No. Uh, that was mm -hmm. a kid in the, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Venus, Queen of Fairies. Why do I not remember that one? Because you're dumb? It's gaming no, Shadow. Uh, there's one of these seven dwarves. Two of them. Two of them. Uh, two of them. Those dwarves. Yeah. Wonder where the other five are. Dead. Is that uh oh, paranoid great. beach bag? Look at him his stupid hat. <laughs> Kakariko Town, the bug catching kid. Um, there's that one jerk lady that if you get near her she calls the guards on you. Yeah. Uh, the lost old man. The lost old man. Hey. No. It was a lost old man. Oh, sorry, J-Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mr. Leahy, apparently. Hey, hey well, I, I represent that statement. Wait a minute, he's still lost. How's he going to get out off that bridge without the hammer? Exactly. How would he find the liquor? Ah, yeah. uh, the forest douchebag. <laughs> Fuck you, forest thief. Control throwers. And uh, the Master Sword sleeps again. <laughs> Just on this side. Fine. Yeah, just, just for that. ECW. ECW. So I wonder what happens to those blue pendants that you have to use to get them. I think Link hangs them over his bed. Yeah. Yeah, he does. Where's one as an earring from time to time? Fashion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Probably so. uh, tried to sell them on eBay. <laughs> Didn't work. Yeah, the yeah. E Great Bay. Ha ha! Get it? All right, and this is we no. favorite part because you get to see the uh, music producer later on. What a composer. Composer, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we'll come by soon. Who's my favorite Hello. director? Yes. No. Uh, so it's, it's not simple, so. I don't care. Oh, shit. ECW wrestling script writer Kinsuki Tana Tanabi. Tanaka. Yeah. All right, so I, Silly guys. yeah, I like the ending in this game. Nice music and just a, a long, lengthy ending. It's pretty worth watching after being a challenger game. Um, <laughs> not the credits, no, not that part. Well, it's kind of cool too, because I mean, you do see your how many times you died or whatever later on in the credits, and what you died that. Sometimes you just don't want to see. <laughs> yeah, which I hate yeah. because I'm like, no, I just I don't want to. I want to know that I, in my mind, went through perfectly instead of the game being like, you died here this many times. And I'm like, grr. Yeah. I'm like fuck, I don't recall these deaths. <laughs> well, see, I use safe states and start over sometimes when I died, so I'd, this is not gonna be accurate right here. <laughs> not cheater, porn shark. <laughs> Pumpkin eater. Porn shark does not cheat. There's no proof of that. You know, I just... Speaking of save states, you know that there's actually a third-party device that lets you put save states on an actual cartridge? Cool. What? <laughs> yeah, someone showed it to me. I'm like, wow, someone's playing a Super NES, and I'm looking at the Super NES and this dongle-looking thing that lets him use save states. Oh, yeah, I saw that before. I saw that. Oh, there it is! Kai Sound Composer! Koji Kondo! Yeah. yeah. That man is hilarious. <laughs> uh, what the yeah. hell are we talking about again? Koji Condominium? Uh, yeah. Our main guy, man. I stole j line. Um, Alright, so I guess now we can go ahead and do the Let's Discuss. Unless you wanted to really enjoy reading all the credits. Not that we're not thankful for their work. Um, oh, there's a uh, Yoshi. Yoshi. <laughs> cool. Yoshi, uh, more like well, Yoshi, because that's what it said. Who's gonna so, start? Yeah. Oh, look, name. Wow. Why are we still making these names? <laughs> um. Yeah. So, well, anyway, The Legend of Zelda: A Link to the Past, pretty much uh, my second 
favorite Zelda game. So my first being Ocarina of Time. Um, yeah, I mean, this game was very challenging. When I first played it, like when I was think, 13 or 14, um, I mean, the game was just just epic. I mean, it took me years to play it after it came out for the SNES. And, well, as right here, we look, <laughs> my quest history was just not totally accurate. But, oh well. Ah, oh, dang it. First death. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I mean, this game, really, I mean, I, I forgot how I got, I know I got it for Christmas one year, I think I bought it for myself, or I borrowed it from a friend first, and I borrowed it for a long time, and I played it, and I think I was able to beat it by myself, I don't think I used player's guide or anything, but it took a good while, but it was a very fun game, very challenging, and I remember the moon tower, what's it called, the, uh, the moon tower, the place where you get the moon pearl in the tower. Uh, tower of Hera. Tower of Hera, yeah. Tower uh, of Pins. <laughs> the moon tower. The moon dungeon, that'd be cool. Um, yeah, that was, uh, it took me a long time to get the moon pearl. I mean, I was playing it all night in my room, and yeah, and I finally was able to figure it out, and yeah, this game has a lot of fun side quests, and just hidden, hidden items, and a lot of stuff to look for. I mean, this game was just very epic, and yeah, I mean, and I like this game a lot better than the original Zelda, not just because, you know, it's Super Nintendo, but I just, the original Zelda is so hard to me, I never beat, I don't think I ever beat the original Zelda without cheating, um, and the SNES version, not as hard, but still challenging, I remember Ganon's Tower is awesome, Turtle Rock, um, I mean, this game is just really, really brings back a lot of great memories, I played it with various friends when I was a kid, and when I bought it, I bought it again. I bought it in '97. It was a, a million seller. We had, the, you know, that gold ribbon on the top on the mm -hmm. cover box. I that. And I love the cover box. I think I still have it to this day, to where it's uh, in mint condition. I mean, it really, really uh, <laughs> is one of the greatest games ever released on the SNES. And I remember seeing it on commercial when it first came out. And I didn't think too much about it. I wasn't a big Zelda fan like back then. It was all about I was all about Mega Man, Contra, Castlevania, um, and Street Fighter, and Zelda. I kind of liked, but I wasn't really a big fan of it. And then finally, years later, played Link to the Past, and man, it's just very epic. And yeah, I, I definitely know why it was on the top 20. I think it was probably on the top three uh, Nintendo Power uh, SNES. Uh, list every month in Nintendo Power Magazine. Very good game and it was very awesome and yeah, I mean, the music, just the overall atmosphere and I mean, this game is just epic and so yeah, Zelda uh, Link to the Past definitely one of the top Zelda games ever made. I give it a 9.5 out of 10. Green? Oh, okay, I guess I'll go next. Um... Okay. Man, it's been a while since I've played this, but it's definitely one of those Zelda games that still aged really well. And the whole light and dark world concept was amazing at the time, and even other games like Metro Prime 2 looked back on that and took the concept and just kind of like paid tribute to it. Um, what else is good about this game? The amount of dungeons. I think this game has more dungeons than Ocarina of Time. I think. There's yeah, it does. In the dark World, three in the Light World. So, I personally, between that and Ocarina of Time, I like A Link to the Past a little bit more. Because it was just... It was a lot of content. It was a lot of stuff to do. Fighting Ganon. And then seeing the Dark World. It was all just... A really good experience for me. So all in all, I'm gonna give the game the same score Ronnie did a nine point five. Alright. J Man? Uh I really don't have a lot to say about this game. I played it uh early nineties. Um I don't know. I really never truly enjoyed a Zelda game until Ocarina of Time. Yeah, I don't know why I can't explain that, but 
Um, one thing that I can definitely say about this game is I hated the uh, the light world, dark world thing. I don't, I don't know. I don't like that. It it, it kind of seems like like a developer trying to repeat like the same kind of thing. I don't know. I don't like the concept. Um, bleh. Um, but overall, this was a pretty good game. Uh, and I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Well, I like the light and dark world concept better than the uh, Majora's Mask time uh, moon. I think, I think what you're trying to say is... That he doesn't like the fact that you're pretty much going through the same place twice with just a few changes. Exactly. Um, now, well, the, the closest thing that I can say to that um, is like uh, Castlevania uh, Symphony, Symphony of the Night, um, where they, you know, they took the same castle and, and made it reverse upside yeah. down. <laughs> and that was cool, but yeah, kind of the same deal. We're seeing, not, uh, to, not to take away from the game itself. I mean, you know, I enjoy both games, but yeah. See, the way I look at it, A Link to the Past uh, uh, with the light and dark worlds, yeah, I mean, they are similar, but at the same time yet different, and how they enter, uh, like, what's it, uh, how they uh, intertwine with each other. And how like, they presented themselves. Yeah, like, when you go in the same spot, you transform into, use the mirror to go back to the light world, and how you, uh, you know, where you're at, depending on where you're at. And I just, I mean, it's just awesome way to discover secrets and how you found, uh, like, you know, you found one of the, the, the lost uh, dwarves that uh, upgraded your sword. And how they, ch- you know, they change in the uh, in the dark world. And man, to me, when I first discovered that, like on Death Mountain, I'm like, whoa, this is epic. And so then you me, probably just like, whoa, I don't recall this place looking like this over here. Yeah. And so I mean, it kind of reminds me of Back to the Future. Like, you know, it's yeah, kind of like I, the light world is the present, dark world is uh, the future if you don't stop again. And, and this is what's going to happen. And then they're going to eventually merge. And then that's what's going to become a higher world. Like shit. Kind of like in Ocarina of Time. Yeah, I might think, well, Majora's Mask ain't the only time game. And Zelda, you know, you do the same thing. Ocarina of Time was like way different. Like, you actually travel seven years in the future. Whereas Majora's Mask was only three days. Yeah, uh, I hated that. You, you, you had to hurry up and do this in three days or the moon crashes. I, I kind of didn't like that about Majora's Mask. That's just me. He's not a good gamer. That's all. That's all. <laughs> yeah, you're you know, you know anything is gonna, about it. Lens of Truth is going to start an argument on this video, and Pretty then much. I'm going to block him, and he's not going to be my friend no more. And, no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> well, and, okay, let, let me let me say this. Um, Link to the Past was a... Uh, a great building block to Ocarina of Time. I think they they got it. They got it right, more than right. They got it perfect on Ocarina of Time. Okay, and so yeah, I mean, I, yeah, that's how I view the light and dark world thing. I thought it was cool, but Ocarina of Time, I like how I think they did it better. Yes, I have to agree with that. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay, and. All right, we got. Uh, finally, <laughs> the whole. Hey, if you can't dark wait, world. just hang up. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, um, I didn't really grow up with Link to the Past. I uh, more remember growing up with the 64 Zelda's Majora's Mask: Ocarina of Time. But I still remember playing Link to the Past and not finishing it because I got stuck. I think I said that in the uh, Turtle Rock episode. I got stuck there. And then when I finally got past that, I got to Ganon, but I never knew how to beat him. You got to get the Silver Arrows. Never knew that until I got the game uh, about four years ago at my first retro gaming expo and finally beat it. And, yeah, it is, it's a great Zelda game, of course. It's probably not my top favorites, but it's still, still, a, still a great game. You know, you got great dungeon designs. You got great uh, weapons, a whole buttload to use uh, you know the music of course is fantastic Koji Kondo is the you know he's the Zelda man find the music condominium uh, pretty much <laughs> he is the condiment on top of the cartridge Wait, what anyway <laughs> but uh, and yeah you know 16 bit it looks great it's still 
you know, still looks great. It's still aged well. And um, I would probably, I'd probably give it a, probably give it an eight out of ten. Yeah. yeah, eight out of ten. Same as Jamie. Yeah. So me and Jamie yeah, inside, yeah. and you and Green are the nine point five buddies, and you can go, you know, do your nine point five in over the internet. Okay. Nine point nine five. Okay. Um. So yeah, there you go with the uh, let's play and let's discuss of uh, the Legend of Zelda: A Link to the Past, one of the greatest Zelda games of all time. And so yeah, game is. I think we, all, we can all agree though, the game is. ECW. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 All right. So that is it. We're out of here. I'm Ron Moore. And this is the J Man. We gotta go first. No, you go first. <laughs> I won't be last. Okay. This is this is green. Are you some of the No, no. This is Wee Guy. And this is Green, the real one. No, I'm Green. That's my last name. But and there... this is his baby brother. <laughs> and now uh, we got step dad comes in cuts off the internet oh. damn oh. alright that's it god bless and take care that never Peace actually out. happened lol